praise this morning. Nothing is impossible. 
Jesus, we give you praise, we honor you. Let's give him praise. Amen. You can have your seats. Uganda mkama eva zivuenza mpitiba mari ya mchobe from Isaiah family zize kuwela mkama obujulis nagenda nenduwala na rali ledu kumulimi jenali mumu edie mbende gold mines olvuta nonotani kwa kundu maratani kampola mpola randu makale nga manitis just ulcers na echi hatu ukechisela hati ni chitao nga chiri too much na in 2019 nga itao 2020 nengko mao when I come on and pull over and bug on you, you are not going to get any more come, Doctor Bossa, we are coming. We are going results. We say the money is chibumba. Say the no. We are going to have a lot of people coming. We are going to have a lot of people coming. We are going to have a lot of people coming. We are going to have a lot of Katiwe ya kubira mzeyu wange na muga momwana embera ya yonge de atufunda yo senti dadi ya gamba oyo simuli kwa ya loko kage ne mba loko liba muyambi. Nengamba mukama chino chijuli degwe. Nga mukama waga mati I shall supply all my needs, his, my needs according to his riches in glory. Mikwano jange jangu kwa atila kaba ntubangu kwa atila kwa netugenda msiti scan. Nibakebela results seza kuma umu siti scan. Nga nachochi show inge chintu chechi mu. Muma nye mbele yo natia na kanka na nintani kwa kaba. Nye nga njimi lide kuchituwechi. Muka memige jaku waje jitu wanya teno report ya musawo. I only need your report. Betuwa vao siti scan ni wajuli lanti nino genda for endoscopy. Endoscopy ya te ya nti sanyo nyonti wa ya baiba ino kujia kwa peace. Kuchibu mbaba kebele checha alichilese gundye yu. Katuwe tuwa agenda nesigaranga tu sabana. I had to go back for results. Mu December 25th, 2021. 2020. Nenti ya kama ne muga mboro. Tumazoko la endoscopy na kasero. Ngabo omanyi. Atina zeda zaali sente. Sente zaali zaamanyi. Nenti ya bali bakola test yeyo. Okunzi jako wano peace kukabumba. Nagamba mukama. Eno, rezo, eno report guwa jimpa. Ochidaba siba sawo beba jimpa nsabe mukama uchusi zolaba uchusi omusayo koze miracles nyingi mukama nange nsabye results zino eno yesemba yo na enyamba mukama osasire kati zige ndo kati ne, ne, ne results ne zibera yo ne zija wano nali wakange mbere tabuse ngabuli andabe wakagamba mwana ngali bubyo mwana yeyongera bwe yongezi bonanga bagamba kupaka it was a sunday echi ne chingamba dayo ku church ne zija ku church wano mama na cha musamu ya yanyaniriza Nem mchala na chanzo banda samu ya yanya niriza Kwa kubo nanga bati de kubwa ngembera jenalimu ya limbi nyo Samu chakuwa na kuwa samu sumba Bali bavamu service Good enough musumba ya libize Na ya mpobude Tuwa imirirao na angoba komu Na angoba komu zimu gokufa Na yenga na ange mbutufu Nga nempe wa infuwa Nezi, Mama Ruth na ngambo manji gamba senga wa uh, ojeno Bwe nada yone muku vile simu ne muga mba senga mami angambi nge nembele kuchachi. Kubange wakaba sila mugundi zona zebali bampa zali negativity. Nga tebampa subi. Ne musaba ne zija. Luckily enough to was 40 days. Ne tu imila mu 40 days. Ne saba ne siba. Ne tube na ngobulu mbunu na inga banga mba racho siba. Ne zenga manjinga ngamba mukama results. Zino kuchuka mukama wagamba litu kusobula mu. Just recently musumba ya gendo kunda moku nda banga mama Ruth last Sunday. Mama Ruth na mga musumbono cha mujukira. Musumba na gamba, angana yeta chanzi jukira. Even some members wa nabamu wa bandaba. Tewasa wala chikiriza antiyolia ya jaluli. Naringo muzimu. Ngana nke nini sichagala kutunula munda biramu. Na ye nalindiri la mukama. Na saba, na siba. Era njizo chintichimu. Chabesiga mukama. Balingolu sozi sayuni. Era na gamba. Abobo naba mwesiga. Tebali suwazibwa. Mukama tan suwaziza. I remember. Renagenda mukama anga kule dechama gero results seza sembayo na yambuka na yambuka enaka sero nga antiane ngamba mukama ngendo kuchima results seza sembayo ne mugamba mukama you are the final chief guwa sarawechi echi, echi gundi echi sembayo nga ngende e kampala hospital mukama wa chisa mukama wa mazima abamwe siga yata abamu kabili raba ulira 
na koma wo nga results za koma wo nge chibumba chiramu ekitibwa nenki dizamu kama nge chibumba chiramu era te season za koma wo nga ndi bulunji neba za katonda neba za yesu tasoro kuchusa report neba za bona bayimirira nange neba za mchala na chance neba za sam neba za basumba bayimirira nange aiza ya members mbeba za nyu kubamu kama ya chusa results season era chibumba changa chiramu sina ko chintu chona ekitiba ne tendo chidiza mukama you are welcome to the worship house thank you so much for choosing the worship house those who are tuning in live on facebook and youtube we don't take it for granted. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for following us every other day. May God richly bless you. And to our first time visitors, if it is your very first time to fellowship with us here at the worship house, you are most welcome. We don't take it for granted that you've chosen to fellowship with us here at the worship house. And I just want to assure you that your life is not going to remain the same. Send our greetings to your church if you have your home church. And if you do not have a church to call your home church, the worship house is wide open for you. Come as you are, and God will bless you. And I just want us to learn the Bible just briefly. In the Old Testament, the Lord gave Moses commandments. There were ten of them. But when Jesus came, he gave us a great commandment. Where do we find this great commandment, and what does it say? And give the answer to your neighbor. The timer starts now. We find this story in Matthew chapter 22 and from verses 35 up to 40. And I will just read from verse 36. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, this is the great and first commandment. So if you want to enjoy this season of fasting and praying, love the Lord with all your heart. Love your neighbor. Love everyone. Let love be the theme. May God richly bless you. Hope you've learned something. 2023 is a year full of miracles. And you need to receive this miracle, 2023, if you've never had one, that is salvation. It is one of the big miracles that Jesus is going to give you today. Today is salvation, and tomorrow will be judgment. So, my dear, before judgment comes in, receive Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior. If you've never, ever repeated these words, let us repeat these words together, and you receive salvation. You are going to say that, dear Lord, I give you my life. Come into my heart and save me. I confess that I am a sinner who needs a savior. And from today onwards, I confess with my mouth that I am born again. Forgive all my sins in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As I speak right now, my brother, my sister, you are saved. So check on us at the Connect Center and we help you go through this journey of salvation. Well, it is a time to give. This is a time for us to give. Let us prepare our offering, our tithes. If you want a tithe, you can raise up your hand. They give you one envelope. Bak weba saba asha mweba limu corridors. Baneka ne kanye. Awaiza ya family. Bak weba sa ngeno. We are going to put in our tithes. And those who have come with their offering, please get your offering ready. And let us connect with the Connect Center. We'll be right back. 
Thank you, Lydia. This is Patricia from the Connect Center, and I'm here to inform you all the church updates. We are in the 40 days of fasting, and as I speak today, it is the 20th day. We just want to thank the Lord. I just want to thank everybody that you took a step of faith and you're fasting with us. And in case you've not started, we still have 20 more days. Better late than never. Please get into the boat and fast with us. Just a quick reminder, every Monday to Saturday we are here from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and we are praying. From 6 p.m. praying, we are seeking the Lord and we are revealing everything, every secret to the Lord. And we are telling God, you know what, this is 2023, we are expecting miracles, but we want you to go with us. And on the other side, we are having special anointing services. I just want to thank the Lord for what happened in Busabala. Last Sunday, it was the special anointing service at Busabala Primary School. And today, the 22nd of January, we are having another special anointing service at Chambogo Primary School today at 7. It is going to be going down. We believe that yokes are broken by the anointing, as it is said in the Bible. And don't forget, on the 29th, of January, we are going to be having a special anointing service here at the worship house. Isn't that beautiful? And on the 5th of February, we are going to be having a special anointing service at Mercy Church Mende. So the Lord is stretching out his hand to anoint us before we straight and go to fight or to see what is in the rest of the months of 2023. So do not miss. Call everyone in your family and let them be anointed. Amen. Yes, and on the other side, we are very excited as the students, as the campuses, as parents, that is going to be the back to school prayer edition on the 28th of January. Praise God, church. My name is Amira from Children's Church. We are here to invite you to the Children's Prayer Service. On Saturday, 28th, January 2023. Here at the worship house from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. All children are invited. Don't me. And on the 11th of March, 2023, we are going to be having a special service. And that is the sewing service. It is going to be happening on the 11th of March. Please do not miss because when we give to the Lord, he will give back to us. So you don't have to miss out on this chance to build the house of the Lord. Amen. Yes, and remember, this is all proudly sponsored by Church Radio Music First. And today... Today, Abanyumiru Akapira, we are going to be having Manu versus Arsenal, and it is going to be live on church radio, commented by Obanga Kogere Bwabai, Isaiah Christie, so you don't have to miss if you're really a fan of football. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming for the service. Enjoy. Welcome back from the Connect Center. Thank you so much for that. Okay, hope we are ready with our tithes and offerings. Yes, this is the hour. Wow. Okay. Let us raise it up. Okay, you can stand up on your feet as a sign of honoring God. Let's all stand up on our feet. You have your envelope, you can raise it up and we pray. You are going to declare words of victory upon this offering upon this tithe that you have given to god okay let us pray dear lord jesus here are your children we have brought into your house the bible says that it was pressed down and running over let it run over this year 2023 to every child of yours who has given in your house and we speak a blessing we speak a blessing for this new week that has started a new week where everyone is going to receive your miracle signs and wonders financially in jesus mighty name the bible tells us that you will rebuke the devourer from our sources of income therefore right now we rebuke the devourer from our sources of income in jesus mighty name we bless your holy name 
Amen. We are part of what God is doing here at the worship house. This is how to give. For MTN Mobile Money, the number is 776 122 It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. And if you'd like to use a merchant code for MTN, it is star 165 star 3 star 316 523 star. Enter the amount and then hash. For Airtel Money, the number is 758 973 It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. Airtel Merchant Code users, you dial star 185 star 9 star 116 2616 star. You enter the amount and then hash. If you'd like to do a direct bank transfer, we have an account in Diamond Trust Bank. It's in the name of the Worship House. Uh, the account number is 015-106-2001. For Opportunity Bank, the account number is 120-391-70-711-11. It's also in the name of the Worship House. Thank you and God bless you.
God break the spear of your enemy. How God fights for his children. He may take away their weapons and they will never disturb you again. Amen.
This is how I find my battle. 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 Amen. Somebody tell me, but welcome to the house of God. May the Lord fix anything broken in your life. And may you leave this church not the way you came in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I wrote, I wrote, my, I wrote a single song in worship in Uganda. But you need uh, three things you need. Anointing on your head. Wisdom on your head and riches on your head. David, so let me sing it for you. Are you ready? Yes. Kalimuruganda, Gaburijo. Hallelujah. Amen.
Amen. Please clap your hands to God. You may have your seats. Amen. Baba neighbor, what is smart? Mugambi, Mugambi, I like your hair. Baba tell you, Mugambi, it's okay. You're welcome to the house of God. Clap your hands to Jesus. I say to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Online family, you are welcome. Mr. Stephen, you are welcome back home. Always a pleasure seeing you. Amen. Now, I want to say a few things. Number one, if you want to win this year, especially in your marriage, in your business, in your own life, in your church, there is something that the Lord has just taught me. Following the Holy Spirit and doing what He tells you to do, even when it doesn't make sense. For example, a few years ago, I followed the Holy Spirit and broke down this church. I had no idea what God was about to do. I simply followed. Amen. Huh? So when the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, bam, you do it. Because they that are led by the Spirit are the children of God. Amen. Recently I was passing by a certain uh, Mokolo and I felt like I go and sing for them for free. When I went there, I, I sang for them for free. And then I met someone I've been looking for for the last 10 years. He was on that party. So, Gunomaka, when the Lord says, please, or your lip stick, please. Amina. When the Lord says, change that hair, don't do it. When the Lord says, don't go to that trip, don't go. Am I talking to you? When he says, please, 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 akakaviri, kachuse, kachuse. When he says, echechitete, ichireke, chireke. Amen. When the Lord says, call this person and say hello, amen. When you are in prayer to pray for your own stuff and you hear someone saying, pray for so and so, please do that. If you follow the Holy Spirit, you shall have a happy year. I'm communicating that to some people. Amina, for example, we started fellowships in Ivusavala and we started in uh, uh, Chambogo. And, uh, and here, the prayer wave. That's what God told me to do. I didn't know what he wanted to do. But on 31st, I saw all the places we are full. And, and this place was too full. Imagine if we didn't have those other places. So, sometimes you'll never understand everything. Because he is God. Amina. And this goes even to marriage. Amina. Sometimes there is Goyagal and Nekatonda Goyagal. So, please follow the Lord's will. You will be, it's better to have a happy ending than a good start and have a bad ending. Am I talking to you? Yes. Amen. So, I'm just saying, please follow the Holy Spirit. When the Lord says, hey, is the center of church, do it. Amen. Follow the Holy Spirit. That is my point number one today. Please clap your hands to God. Follow the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord told me break the services into four services a Sunday instead of one long one. And look, the first service is done. The second is done. Third is coming and fourth is coming. And we are good. So, so follow the Holy Spirit. When the Lord says do something, please do it. Now, in that... Uh, area I would like is that the Holy Spirit has put on my heart this year. Okay? The first one, we are fasting for 40 days, but also the Lord told me some cannot manage, cannot do 40, so they can do 21. Others can do 12 days. Others can do 7, 3, and maybe one day. So, let me see your hand if you are fasting any of those days. Let me see. Mm hmm May God bless you. Let me see your hand if you are not fasting and you are not, pl you are not planning. Let me see your hand. Please pick some days and fast. This starting week, you can, thank you, you can fast. Amina. Number two. Yeah, we fasted for 20 days. So some of you, if you are fasting 21, you have one day to go. 
Others, you can fast for 12 of days, 21 days. Others can do the, the remaining 20. And we meet here every day, apart from Sunday, in the evening, and we pray. Number two, what the Holy Spirit has put on my heart is to pray for all the children. Some of the things the Lord is telling me to do I've never done before. It's like God is doing a new thing. Amen? So, Saturday 18th, 28th in the morning, all your children should come here for prayers. Imagine, imagine seeing someone prayed for you at that age. So let your children come here a 10 a.m. to midday. All children, your sisters, your brothers, please bring them for prayers. The service will be led by children. The preachers will be children. Amina. Um, and I will come and speak a blessing. Same day, Saturday, 28th, we are going to have back to school prayers at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Very important. Please come, we pray for you. In the morning from kindergarten children to, to midday. Then the kids will go. Then we shall have students from 2 to 4. Okay. Uh -huh. Another thing that God has put on my heart Anoint everyone. That's what the Lord told me on day two of fasting. I want you to anoint everyone before their children go back to school. So we had our special anointing service at Busawala last Sunday, 6 p.m. Because those fellowships, they are also attended by people from other churches. So Abantuavemu churches are by Jehovah Sabire, Mobasiga Mafta. We are going to anoint you. So before your children go back to school, so you are today about to in Tinda, Chuatu, Nigeria, Chisasi, Namugongo, Chireka, Boyo Gerere. Your anointing service is today at Chambogo Primary School. Amen? Not Chambogo inside. Uh, the, the, the university. Just there. Chuatule actually. Chuatule Shero uh, Uchambogo. Tuberao every Friday 7 p.m. Today will be the first Sunday. We'll be there in the evening. So you are all invited to be anointed if you stay in. All invited to be an Tinder Chuatule Nigeria. Please pay attention to these things. They are very very important. That's what God wants me to do. So today we shall anoint everyone that side of Jesus in Tinder, Nigeria. The power is not in the oil. It is, it is in Jesus Christ. Our job is to put hands on you and the Lord will anoint you. So that service will come here next Sunday. Uh, next Sunday, 7, 6 p.m. here at Wash House. We shall anoint everyone. Then the fourth, fourth, yeah, I don't know why Connect Center says fifth. They moved it to fourth. Please confirm. We shall be anointing people at Massey Church Monday. So uh, you can join those special prayers, okay? Uh huh. What else is on my heart? The biggest thing God has put on my heart is 11th March. Everyone say 11th March. We need to build this pavilion and lift it here. And so, the Lord told me what to do. In this church, can there be 1,000 people that can plant a seed as the year is beginning of 100,000? If 1,000 people came here and plant a seed of 1,000, eh, of 100,000, it will cost me thirty dollars what, 22 pounds, something like that, 29 pounds or something, I'm not sure, 22 or what, 12 kumi anyway. 1,000 people from this church. And I thought we are going to do a breakfast, blah, blah. And the Holy Spirit told me, no, I want them to come like a farmer goes to plant seeds. There's going to be a special service on 11th March. It will be a Saturday. Seeing you walk through the church doors, coming for a sewing service. 
with a hundred thousand. It will be early in the morning from nine to eleven. I don't know how it's going to be. I am just following the Holy Spirit. If one thousand people are generous, don't just send money. Come here that day. The only people excused are those people that are far. But if you are online and you have a cousin, a friend, a sister in Uganda, that's the day you send them here to represent you. I, it's not going to be a breakfast. It's going to be a service for sowers. I believe God will see that. Imagine, I'm sure you shall have a great harvest. So if you would like, so I have a card for the a thousand people that can plant a mitwaru kumi. You shall have one month and two weeks from now and to 11th March. Amen? The card is like this. I don't know if, why these guys didn't take a picture of it already so I don't have to be doing this all the time. So, so as that can plant a thousand, a hundred thousand, that's thirty dollars. You can join the one thousand people. Please, if you, you want to be among the a thousand sowers, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. You have one month and Two weeks to 11th March. Yes. Okay. This is what we are going to do. Abadi Waguru, Michael, where are you? Where is Pastor Michael? Keep standing, keep standing. Okay. Gideon, come. Again, they do a guru. God bless you. Uh huh. Come here, gentlemen. Uh -huh. There. Mm -hmm. Come here. Uh -huh. This side, you can have yours. Stand here, corner. This side. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come here, John. You are going. This side. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Who is going up? Come, Winnie. Come. Yeah. Give Winnie. Let her run there. Uh huh. Those that are close, please come. Wait. Get a little more. Thank you. God bless you. You take 10 cards. Hallelujah. Can I have more others, please? These are for, let me get you 10. Yeah, that's, that's it. You can plant for your entire family. Oh. Please give all those guys there. Please go to the far back, the far back, where there is Michala Gaba, there.
Is there anyone you didn't get your card? Really? Gideon, that was your side. Yeah, so many people don't have cards. Please. Who, who, who went? Yeah, it's very important. It's very important. Because if 1,000 people gave 100,000, that would be 100 million. And then, on the 13th, yeah, it's okay. Someone is coming. You can take your hand down. Someone is coming. Okay. Oh, and some of you, like Mr. Stephen here did, some of you, Banang, God has blessed you. Really. Because they gave one talent, two talents, you can, you can sit. The card is coming. You can sit here. Eh? And there, there was what? Five, five talents. So some of you that are given five talents, we don't expect you to give like you are given one talent. And I think Mr. Stephen did it. What do you have to do? We sewing service. Bam. What do you have to do? I don't know what to do. I don't know to call it the new. Sit over now. If you have five talents, we expect you to give more than that. And if we are generous enough, it means on the 13th, eh? that's 11th, 12th is a Sunday, 13th Monday, we'd like to post when we are showing you tracks of materials coming to the church to build the church. So Gideon, you can join that guy and make it quick. Rachi, or your man at the moment, that was your yeah, we waited for five minutes. Being the most slowest person in this church. Data card. Gideon, please watch over that. Make sure. Okay. Some people there didn't get cards, please. Katichembuza, avatereka kadi. Netumbo nabu nozifuna. Mugenda tu wa sente zo mwinga mwe. Okay. If you've not gotten your card, let me see. You've not gotten a card yet. Singa Gideon was to say, Singa Chawe de da. Please get up and help that guy. Bambi akola nyo. All right. I'm going to make a prayer. Can you imagine we took about seven minutes trying to do this? Quiet. Are you alive? Bambi, they wrote do Bambi. There are people here that need cards. So, so, you can give me a million, two million, two million, two million, to even plant your, 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 plant for your, you can sow for your, for your family. You can even take a card for your ex. Okay, high ex, church under construction. Some of you have even people that are not members of this church, but they are good, good people. They would like to build the church. You can take a card for them. All right. Okay. If you already took a card, let me see your hand. You already took a card. Not today. You took a card last Sunday. Let me see. Okay. Whoever is taking but you have to take card last Sunday and this Sunday. Please lift up your hand, I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are trusting you for 1,000 people that can give 100,000 so we can build another pavilion for your house. I pray that those that are online may not have cards, but their hands are up. Please bless them as 11th March cometh. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Um, Buganda Kingdom.
today they have put a tent here, a green tent uh, in the church parking for blood donation to help our dying sisters and brothers. May God bless Buganda Kingdom. So, age is 17 years to 60 years. Saving life with, with safe blood. So after service, feel free to go to the green tent and donate. Giving is not just financial, but also when you donate blood, you save a life, God will bless you. So there is a green tent from Buganda Kingdom. They are giving back. They, are, they want blood to give to the dying people. So today, eh, to the dying people, people without blood. I don't know. To even now. People that need blood. Amen? So imagine if it's your brother or your sister who dies. So be generous. Uh, go donate blood after this service. Please. Service Amen. Let's pray for the word of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we speak your word. Let it come with healing, with answers and power to heal and save, to fix any broken thing, any broken person in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Now, let's clap for the word of God. Are you clapping for the word of God? One more time for the word of God. Now repeat after me say how God fights. Now repeat after me say Now tell it to somebody on your left or your right say how God fights. Now do you know there are some people that fear which doctors than they fear churches? Eh? Omuntu asolo kubba musabo. Eh okuti okubba mu church. Eh naga Oyo musami ze ayayaya eyo to bayo na ye reverend ba pastor ne ba mob naga wa because people think that god is too nice that even when you do something to his children he will do nothing let me tell you something when you do something to a child of god god will fight for him So many people think that you can do things to God's children and you get away with it. No, the Bible says that vengeance is the Lord's. He says, Bakozechi, ah, Tolwana, Nzenza Jokurwana. He says in Exodus chapter 14 and verses 14, I shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. He says in Romans, because of time, we have a computer, we may all keep going. I shall fight for you. Everyone say, I shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Say, Amen. amen. He says in Romans chapter 16 and verses 20. The God of peace will soon crush that problem, crush that disease, crush that Satan under your feet. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. God fights for his children. Amina, talk to me. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen? Some people think you can do things to Christians and you get away with it. Some people take patience to be weakness. God is too patient but he's not weak. God can be like, in the courts, don't misquote me, a good wife who divorces in the big courts. Hallelujah. Some men can take advantage of a good wife. And they do things to her because she never divorces. Forget these ones that keep, keep divorcing, divorcing, like my singer. My singer used to divorce. I think I would want over again enough. 
ngabale te chita cho mwenga one beka era ne tuddayo twabiranga ku rusozi egula mu masaka kati yatuka ekisera nga fe bwabano bate tutwala bintu nti mo parking mo ba mugenda kudda isawa yonna tukena tuyomba sida ne mudda kati okunoba ne kugwa mu amakuru naye when a good wife divorces my dear some men think uh, you know, last week we were together. It was good. The other week, last month. Men think as per last week. Kumbe, this woman divorced 10 years ago. She's been parking one by one, and parking over Senyana, parking over Gunagana. Understand it when a good wife goes. Now, I know God is divorced. That's what I'm preaching. I'm preaching that patience, some people mistake it to be weakness. When a good wife says, I am done. Hmm? And I'm speaking with experience. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you remember there was even a guy some, some time who went with, I think the, the prime minister. He don't want to go. When I got prime minister, to go somewhere to you. When a good wife says, I am done. That's why men, I don't hear anyone saying amen. Dear men, hallelujah. Hmm? Even God can be patient and patient and patient and patient. Then some people tend to think he's weak. That's why he says to Pharaoh, I kept quiet and you thought we are equal. Mm? Mm? Yagamba falao wabunya wanyavana wange nesirika noroza tuenkana. But I'm about to show you that I can fight for my children. Someone say amen. I've realized two, three things about God. How God fights. The Bible says a man and man and fellow man can fight. And God says separates them. But if man is fighting with God, hmm? who can say leave him alone? Are you following me? Wave to me if you are following me. So, God is a fighter. What is a spider? A spider. A spider. A spider. Do you know a cobweb? You will never see it. You just enter into it. Am I talking to you? It looks invisible, but it is there. That is God. You may think he's not there, but he's there until the enemy. <laughs> Praise be to God. Here are a few characteristics about God. Number one, when God is fighting, he always fights for the weak. God's power is for the weak. Like Spider-Man. Help someone in trouble. Am I, am I talking to you? Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, come here, come here, come, run. Let's say she's going to fight. Amen? Look here, follow what I'm doing. Good. Here, come here, Gideon. Don't worry, nothing dramatic. Here. Let's say, Gideon and what's her name? Sandra. Sandra, they are going to fight. We all know the loser before we fight, they start fight. The, do we know? Who is the loser here? Before Gideon starts the war, we know she has lost. She's about to call the doctor and say, please prepare, call a dentist. But this is what God does. God joins the weak. Yeah. 
Come on, keep clapping if I'm talking to you. I need another sweat. Come on. So. <laughs> How are you, Gideon? <laughs> are you still ready for a fight? That's what I'm saying. The Jews. Eh? The Jews and the Egyptians, they, were, they are all God's children, right? But God joined the Jews. Why? Because the Jews were the weaker ones. So when God defines cancer fighting you, you are weak. What he will do, he will join you in the battle. Thank you. Clap your hands. So now we all know who is the loser now. That's what I'm preaching to you. When you are weak, how many people are weak? You are weak vessels. Tomanyu kurwani na musajia. Move on. No gina Facebook, no gula data. Ogiro gutwe. Vaku bawa ani. If you are not good at fighting, tomanyu kuloga, tomanyu kulimba. What do you have to mamunga? Intalo vazeru anira sebo. Yeah. I found a friend of mine. She's a member of this church. She was. She moved to another church. But she, I found her, she was always a, a, a but I found her in town fighting with a border border guy. Ngamukuta matai. Jakumpa bansa ngamukubi MP. Ne MP tayari agambira wama pastor janguwan. But when you are weak, hallelujah, you are the right candidate for God to fight for you. And here we go. May God fight for you this year. So God is a fighter, Raymond. And God fights for his children. I have seen so many people think that God's patience is weakness. This is why I realized why my why I disagree with some of the preachers. Eh? And the debating is not hurting you. Like people debate me, it's good. Right to what's up. Eh, yeah. I mean, huh? yeah, but it's debating you. Sometimes we debate preachers and they hate us. Because we debated them with doctrine or what? Or some just don't like us, or some are just busy. But listen, do you remember when we were growing up, they used to say, I, even, I was in a service where we used to send fire that let our enemies die. And the preacher would be like, I know mama, I Even people would come and testify. I not God is not a killer. But God can humble. Katimbuza, Uncle Raymond, screening as a good day. Zikomio, so we enjoy getting as it does. I was screening with the watchman. He said, There's no two sisters, so I screened the scissor fed of Nazagula. We pay a lot of money every Sunday. Katabu is if I call him which my you sent it to what was a solidarity. Amen. So, God does not benefit from your enemy dying. God benefits if he can receive worship from your enemy. The Bible says, and at the name of Jesus, I gave someone my phone and I've been asking for it. The Bible says, every knee, am I talking to you? Every knee shall bow. So what God wants from your enemy is a bowing knee. Your enemy must attend your graduation party. Your enemy must be there that day you get married. Your enemy must see you winning with your children so he can bow the knee and say there is a God above. God wants to receive worship from your enemy. That's why at the cross, the Bible says, 
And those who were nailing him said, Surely. Abadi ba mukube misumari, baga mabatia, mazima dala, abadi mwana wakaton. God wants the enemies to come one day and say, Ono gwetuba deko, mazima dala, abadi mwana wakaton. Am I talking to you? So, God fights. So I've come to study the Bible and I've seen some things. There is a way God spares enemies without killing them. There is so many ways God can kill your enemies, with, can fight for you without killing any. I picked up a few. Number one, God can make your enemies busy. I've never seen a person who is busy hmm? Hmm? who is so busy with work going on Facebook to write bad comments about people. Have you ever seen like in Godia Kuvumi on Facebook? CEO, Uganda Air. CEO, Coca Cola. CEO, MTN. They don't have that time. They are busy. Katumisi Satalugende, Bantu Wamekabali, Mofisio. 18 people at ever Zoom. He's the boss. Kakati on again a fun at your wood day. Ogendo of Momonto Giden Yindo or Girokutu. Momonto Giden Yindo or Giroku. May the Lord make your enemies busy. Number two. Are you still following? God can scatter them. Lift up your hands. Whoever meets to fight your family. I don't know why. I'm seeing a family that the devil has been fighting. And I think you are the only one. All your sisters and brothers are not here. They are not either in God or they are. But I pray that that family, this is the year, their enemy to bow the knee. God can disperse us all without releasing a bullet. Fenanga betuliwana. In Deuteronomy 28, 7 says, And your enemies will come to you in one way. But they shall be dispersed in seven. Lead it with me. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. Say amen. amen. They shall come out against you one way, and they shall flee in seven ways. How can that happen? Katonda sobolo tusa asanya fina wanonga tafurumiza sasi. Buri omu wanamu wayo obu yochi vusatu. Three bees each. God can tell bees, I want you to go in that meeting and make sure you scatter those people. Buri omu wanubamu gama mweye njochi satu. Atenga bazira gide wezige na tezimu, zige nemu mkwawa. In three minutes, this church will be empty. And whatever we are doing will not be finished. That's, that's what Exodus says. Exodus says, I shall send bees and chase out the Canaanites and the Hivites, those nations that are disturbing you. This is um, eh? Exodus 23, 28. Eh? I will send a hornet, I will send the hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite bef from before you. Nenda kuwele ze njochi. Jona yuna yuna jeva tuula, obava polani, obama sabo, obama saluni, obama taxi, obawa, yuna jeva tuula ni baga tumutege, tumute chiro, tumukuba masasi, tumube. Biyuna yuna tuula, baibe gamba, I will send bees to them, and they shall be scattered, and they will not finish what they have started. Who remembers the Tower of Babel? Wave to me and make it. Wave to me. Wave to me. Good. Do you remember the Tower of Babel? Eh? They were building the tower, right? Nimrod. Genesis what? 11. When he was building the tower, the Lord said, let's go down and give them different languages. The Lord gave them different languages and the project was finished. They were not able to finish what they have started. And that's what the Bible says. The Bible says, and the Lord in heaven, Amina, 
shall crush the plans of your enemy and their hands somebody said their hands shall not finish what they have started praise be to god god can fight for you and whatever the devil started in your family before you were born it is going to end with you So, at, 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 at the Tower of Babel, they just woke up one morning, please, what is that? So, I pray for you. Whatever project, whether you know about it or you know about it, that is after your marriage, or your family, or your business, or your future, may the Lord scatter them. Number three, he can lift you so high. I said, he can lift you so high. Do you remember when we were younger and shorter and your parents send you to pick something from the cupboard? No one ever did that she can sat no let an over meza. Oh kula chi bagano kuide go. I'm fine. Chi situ situ ka yo. So that's what God can do. Emizim ne jiga gwetwa kutu mokuta ngato muta. I go kwa to my own marriage, young at Ada, and Miss Mugamba Fande. Situ Kayo, God can lift you so high. I declare a lifting is coming over you, a lifting will come over your life. May the Lord lift you so high. That is Isaiah 59 19. Scripture says, When the enemy can we read it together? So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy comes to you like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Number four, he can make your enemies disappear. Amina, somebody say can make your enemies disappear. Let's pause. An enemy can be a person. An enemy can be a cancer. I had COVID in my blood, in my body. And it treated me so bad. But God can cause the enemy to disappear. By show of hands, how many of you, you were once so sick, but now it disappeared. So God fights our enemies by making some things disappear. But as I'm saying, may the Lord make poverty to disappear. Whoever came in this service, sing, oh, come on. Whoever came in this hour, oh, Kaba, oh, Kaba, may the Lord dry your tears this year. May you go out with faith. May that fear disappear. Oh, God. Am I preaching to somebody? Psalms 37, verses 35. I saw my enemy. I have seen the wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in its native soil. Nalaba omuvi, eh? Nalaba ichirwa de ngach chongera kuwa la ngomuti mutakariago. Nalaba abalabe ngabongera kula kula nabali ngomuti ogusimbi dwa mutaka. The Bible says I saw the wicked like a tree, but someday I looked again and they were gone. But you shall look again and that pain is gone. But 
may God bless you the blessing of the Lord maketh man rich listen the Bible says though I searched for them I could not find them question is how why did he search for them are you following people no way. That's what we would They would have found the grave. I didn't see. He just disappeared. Whatever, whoever, whichever is being a problem to you, let them disappear. Do you believe it? Number five, he can make you invisible. Mm -mm. He can make you invisible. Like my grandfather, my grandfather recently we had a party for him at my at, at, at our home and he was celebrating eight eight years. But his work has been from Luvare to Masaka since he was in his twenties. He works in Luvare. He lives in Luvare. He works there, he comes to Masaka. His entire life has been on Masaka Road. How many people have died on Massacre Road? So God can make you. Never kubuzant na yegwe. Now we see the white mum we marry and what the metwali. Aye, mukama. We see the white mum we marry a dogo. We see the white mum we marry a bisimu. When. God made you invisible from some demons and some places. That is Psalms 25 verses 27 verses 5. He can lift you so high. He can make you invisible. For in the time of trouble, someone read with me. For in the time of what will happen, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. And he shall set me so high up on the rock. Wanike Mikono, Ntunulida. So many people will get problems. But you, this year, may God hide you. May God hide you from those bad dreams. May God hide you from those curses. May the Lord hide you from that family curse. May the Lord lift you so high. Am I praying for you? May the Lord hide your husband. May the Lord make your car invisible. Lift up your hands like you need a prayer. May the Lord hide your blood. May the Lord hide your children. May the Lord hide this country. May the Lord hide your family. May the Lord hide you. May the Lord keep you safe in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. A young girl came to me and said, Hey, Pastor, can I talk to you? And sometimes I'm busy, I'm running. I'm like, Hey, Pastor, I'm like, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. And she's like, Two minutes, two minutes. I'm like, okay. One minute. She's like, Yesterday I almost killed my guy with a knife. I'm like, yeah. Five minutes, five minutes. <laughs> and she says, Pastor, I ran away from my mother. I ran, I went to, we went to a school, I fell in love with a boy, and we ran away from school together. For three years, my parents didn't see me, because I fell in love. And yesterday, I was checking the house, and this guy is on medication, and he's HIV positive. And I said, you took me away from my parents. I did not finish school. And the gift you've given me is HIV. So I got a knife 
put it under the pillow and said, I'm going to stab you to death because you killed me. And then she says, somehow, I felt like I go to church and I didn't kill him. But pastor, why did I meet this guy? Why did I go to this school? Are you hearing all the questions? That's why I'm saying God can hide you. Some people you'll meet in heaven. And be like, hey, now we can see what you. God can hide you from meeting some people, going to some places. God can hide you. May God stand in the way and hide you and protect you. I got about a few. Come on, clap your hands if you are here tonight. Number six. Are you still following? He can make them run from you. He can make your sound, sound, sound dangerous. Sing home to Agama. Mama! Hey, Kappa! Okay, hey, Kappa. Kappa! Okay, hey, Mama! Hey, Omsota! Hey! The four lepers, they were just four. They attacked an army. And the army felt like this is a huge army. And the Lord made them sound like. Somebody says, sound like. Louder! I pray that you sound like a rich man. You sound like a powerful man. You sound like a wise man. You sound unkillable. One, two, three. May God make you, make them fear you. We have bought some of our neighbors here at church by the power of sound. Am I talking to you? Sound can give the four lepers food. Some guy came here and brought me a car and said, Pastor, I want you to buy this car because how much? Nagamba, it is 600 million, but you can get it at like 500. Because <laughs> That's your sound. May God give you sound. Ngabaku wakena kuni wakamba mumu wakene kwa ngasiri wakwa wakwa ya naamanya. Kumbo limu genge tu inana chori. Bible gamba but they sounded like an army. And the enemies ran. Gwachimanyi sound is seven years of kumi so mchala. That's why some guy met me there and he said, I want to meet Pastor Wilson because I'm the one. I got, no, I mean the pastor. I said, Sound. If you are here and you sound what you are, it's not right. You can be a leper. You can be short, but you sound it all. Ay, 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 ay. Saja, I got a kuwasa, na soka kutiam. Naga nyamba deshi, ntu dentia. Njoke deta kumbe vampi na wali yeri weyi ya. We know kwa ye bovili. O sounding anga inengo ye kumi. Am I preaching to somebody? Tuali tutambule ye manga kumayumba gaba antu. Just walking before 31st. Hapa pangi sabi nani bavayo. Hey, buke. Mwatu guze. God can make you sound. A one, a two, three, may you sound. Do you know with sound you can buy things? I entered the office of the guy who sold us that property. Can I continue? 
I, I'm going to say two more. Praise God. Also, God can reveal their plans. Because of time, I'll close with one more. Somebody say, reveal their plans. Because it means spiritual intelligence. God went to the devil's bedroom and got the file that the devil was writing about you. And he took, am I talking to you? And he took that file to heaven and told the drama team in heaven, can you act this for me? When this boy girl rests, play the video. The angels play. Two. Don't panic. The Lord is trying to show you. Revealing. Bad dreams are not designed to scare children of God. Bad dreams are designed to tell children of God, this is where you should shoot. This is where you should shoot in prayer, in fasting. But we set it on fire in Jesus' name. Finally, some of the things I said to them in the prayer waves, so I may not repeat. He can make them join you. Somebody say amen. amen. And the governments use that a lot, right? You've seen that with government and oppositions. Like in Acts chapter 9, Saul was an enemy of the church. And the Lord did not kill him. He just converted him to his side. And he used him mightily. And most of the Bible things, Bible books are written by him. Because he was useful anyway. He was useful anyway. That's why he wrote more books. Are you still following? Have you ever seen a guy who is opposition and then he disappears for a few months? He comes back. But now you government in And he, God does that too. He can put you to his side. Have you seen guys in, in the government? Nah, you got a president. I want to. opposition in you. They switch sides. Even God does that. He can make sure your enemy joins you. The Bible says he prepares a table eh, before your enemies. And finally, everybody say finally. He can break. Are you ready? Like I'm breaking, something will break. He may, Mula be that everything I've said, none is dead, no, no one is dead. They are, all of them are bowing the knee to say, never attack children of God. God can break their, can weapon. God can spare them and goes after their tools. If they use money, God can take away the money. If they use power, God can take away the power. If they use an office, God can take away the office. God can even give them something they, they are scared of most. What do you mean? 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 Pastor. The Lord can give them what they are scared of most. God can give them something. Am I preaching to somebody? The Bible says in Isaiah, is it Isaiah 54:17? No weapon fashioned against you shall do what? Do you see that God goes to the weapon? Am I talking to you? And spares the sinner. Do you remember? Look at me, everybody. Please. Do you remember Moses? Do you remember Moses? 
he, he put down his staff and his staff turned into a what a snake uh-huh and the magicians the king said come night they also turned into snakes and moses is like lord and moses serpent did what Aaron his serpent and it swallowed the 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 abataka demo ntaso luzungu mukubenga and it swallowed may the lord swallow whatever was carrying you everybody abema reka wave to me question why didn't this erroneous serpent go after the magicians omusota wali gusobologera ne gubo jamba na abaloko but it spared them god is love and they went back home we are out of business am I talking to you I don't know if this is a testimony or not but I will give it anyway I was dealing with five girls who have HIV from the same man a rich guy a very rich guy by the way servicing everyone prepare some seed tomorrow together turn the kokuzimba one again so you are going to give chosobola and god will bless you say amen say amen, amen. five girls and i told them how did this come happen and he said they said to me because to get a job in that office you have to sleep with a guy and the guy will give you everything the cars the this girl said to me pastor i needed this job my mother depends on me my sisters everything everything needed the job the guy told me if i can get a job and it pays well if i can and she gave in then one day she was busy crying crying and then the other fellow girls came to her and said why are you crying she said i can't tell you but something big has happened they said don't worry we all know because we are all we all went through the same channels that's why parents parents some people don't fear hell. He's very poor. Office of your He will never ever target university students who need jobs and gives them HIV. For the Lord broke. Are you ready? May the Lord break. Like I have done it, let that weapon break. Stand up on your feet. Psalms 46, verses 8. Do you have it? Be I know Ruta Rodi Mu, about financial, about psychological, about relationship, or it's what. Read it with me. He causes wars to end throughout the earth. Pause. I pray that every war, every battle you are in, may the Lord cause it to end. Uh huh. What does it do? Continue. He breaks the ball and snaps the spear, he burns the shields with fire. Please lift up your hands. You are going to say amen. May the Lord make your enemies busy so they forget you. May the Lord break the weapon of your enemy so you are free. May the Lord give your enemies what they fear most so they don't have time to fight with you. May the Lord send the bees and scatter whoever is planning bad things for you, your house, your family, and your future. Say amen. amen. May the Lord lift you so high so the enemy will say, Oh, your judge is situ, Kayo, in Jesus' name. 
May the Lord cause your enemies to fight each other. May the Lord scatter them. May the Lord blind them. May the Lord cause them to run away from you. And may the Lord give you them to run away from you. Power of sound. I pray that God shall reveal their plans and bless you. I pray that God will make you invisible. May the Lord make that disease in your body to disappear and that perfect in your house to disappear. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. And may February come with good news. May March be full of a miracle. May April be a good month for you. May June come with a a testimony. May July be a month of laughter. May August come with goodness and mercy. And may September come with an open door. And may October be a, a, a month that God will lift you. And may September be a great month for you. May November come with good news. And may December be crowned with glory. Clap your hands if this is your service. Now, everyone get some seed for Nayansi go for the house of God. A generous heart, God will bless. Please lift it up. You don't have. God will bless you. Lift it up. Father God, lift up your seed, everyone. Lift it up so high. Father God, I bless you for the generosity of my brothers and sisters. I pray that they will see testimonies this year. Because of their generosity, the work of God continues. Bless them for me in Jesus' name. And God's people say it. Amen. At the, at the exit, there are baskets. You can look for the usher and you plant your seed there. Lift your hands. Oh, don't lift your hands. Ask your neighbor or is it much? How does God fight? Everyone He can hide you, uh-huh. He can lift you so high, uh-huh. Talk, 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 talk. Did he learn something? Okay, may you go and win every battle. May the Lord win it for you in Jesus' name. And God is people said. Chambo go, today is your service. 6 p.m. anointing service. God bless you. Have a great Sunday. Through you, I can do anything. I can do Nothing is impossible through you. Blinders are open, strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible through you. I can do anything. I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me faith. Nothing through you. Blinders are open. for praying with us today we hope that you are blessed and as you go out may goodness and mercy follow you may you be blessed in the city and be blessed in the field this service here was designed and anointed 
for you. Therefore, expect miracles as you go out. We hope to see you again next time. And please don't forget to come with a friend. May God bless you.